Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 20th HTML tutorial. In the last couple tutorials, we talked about using HTML tables, um, how we can create them, and how they can be used to organize data, as well as even layout websites if that's what you choose to do with them. Um, however, in this tutorial, we're not going to be talking about tables any longer. We're going to be talking about something else uh, that we can also use to lay out websites and uh, make things look a, bit, a little bit different uh, within our web pages, and that's HTML divs. Um, and one way you can think of divs, I suppose, is as divisions. You can use divs to break up the different sections within your website and um, hold things within the divs. And you can think of a div as a container. Um, so actually right here on the screen I have two divs. Uh, one div has a black uh, dotted background around it, and the other one has a green solid background. Um, and basically the divs are holding uh, whatever's inside of them. Inside of this div is a header, uh, an h1 tag that has the HTML divs in it here. And inside of this, just a paragraph with some text just to uh, show you what divs can be used for. Uh, and divs don't have to have text in them. They can have tables, forms, whatever you want, images. Um, but just for this, the sake of this tutorial, I included some text. Uh, and I also used a little bit of CSS to style these divs, uh, just so you can tell the difference when, you're looking, when we're looking at them here. Um, and we'll learn how to do a little bit of that today in this tutorial, but it's uh, not required to create divs. And uh, if you don't understand, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not a big deal. So. Now let's go into our code here and see what we use to create these two divs here. Okay, so here's the top of the code here. We have our title, and uh, right here is actually where we have our CSS code, and uh, it's basically just styling the two divs, uh, setting the borders and stuff like that. So uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. But down here, uh, here's the body. So down here is where we actually created our divs. And uh, just like any other tag, divs have an opening and a closing tag, uh, similar to forms and tables and stuff like that. Um, so here's our first div right here. You can see our opening and closing tag. Uh, over here is our second div. See our opening and closing, and whatever's inside of the div uh, is over here in our uh, web page here. So uh, this is basically what divs are. You can use them to style web pages. You can move them about the web pages. Um, and instead of using tables, it's just a, divs are a better way to make the web pages look the way you want. Uh, here isn't anything uh, advanced. It's just two divs, one under another, with the same width. Um, though this one does have a little bit of a, a more height to it. So um, let's get into it. Let's uh, erase our code here and we'll start uh, writing the code for what we have here. So we'll save that, come over here and refresh, and it's blank. So let's get to work here. So we'll create our uh, outline of an HTML page here. And we'll say head. And within the header we'll put a title. And we'll call it HTML divs. So we'll save, come over here and take a look. And there's our title. Okay, so one thing that we're going to do here is put our body. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a header. Uh, we're going to use the h1 tag, or you can use whatever tag you want. It uh, doesn't make a difference. And within here, we're just going to say HTML divs. So here we go. Here's our uh, h1 header. And we're just going to add another, uh, some more text, we'll say a paragraph, and we'll say uh, this is a paragraph which will be in a div soon. So we'll save that and refresh. So here's our uh, here's our header and here's our paragraph, and we're going to put both of those in a div in a second. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So the, the tag that we're going to be using to create divs is uh, pretty simple. It's just uh, div and then there's a closing tag, closing div. Uh, and that's basically it. Anything within here is within the div, or the, the division you can call it, or the container, whatever you want to think of it as. Um, so when you style the div, um, you can actually uh, move whatever's around in here, change whatever's in here, change the way the div looks, um, just by styling these divs here in uh, CSS. Though there are some attributes you can use uh, with the HTML as well. So uh, let's just create our div here. We'll say div, and we'll close the div, and then we'll put another div here, and we'll save that and take a look. Uh, I did move this down a little bit, and I'm not sure why. I'm thinking maybe it has to do something with the uh, the margin or the padding maybe, but I'm not sure why it moved that down. But uh, we're going to go ahead and style these anyway, so it's not really going to make uh, too big of a difference. OK, so here's our here are our two divs. And uh, what we're going to want to do is give each of them an ID, just like we can uh, include attributes within tables and forms. Uh, we can do the same thing with the div. And um, similar to how in the form tutorial we gave the form a name, uh, we're going to give each div an ID. Uh, that way when we go back in our CSS code, we can reference the div. So 
we'll say ID equals, and remember our uh, quotation marks here, and we'll call this the header, and then we'll come over here and call the second div, uh, we'll call it main content with an underscore there. So we'll save, come over here, and you'll notice that no, no difference was made by creating the ID. It's just uh, when we go in to refer reference the divs in the CSS code. If we didn't include the uh, IDs uh, in the CSS code when we're referencing the divs, what would happen is it would have changed both divs, I believe. So uh, the references are uh, important here. The IDs are important. Uh, unless you want to have two divs styled in the same way. Uh, for example, if we wanted this first and second div to be styled in the same way, uh, we can call them both header, but we'll see that in a second. So let's just go back to main content. Okay, so within the head of our uh, web page, we're going to be setting up some CSS. Um, and CSS isn't too hard to learn. There's plenty of tutorials on the internet if you're interested. Um, but don't worry about it if you don't understand it. It's, it's pretty simple. And if you just follow along what's going on here, uh, you should be all set. So we'll say style type equals text slash CSS. And uh, this is basically how we're setting up our style. Uh, we need a closing tag as well. So basically right here is where we're going to be entering our CSS code. Um, we could have also done it in an external file and then linked to it, but uh, or included the file, but that's um, really not necessary just for the purpose of this tutorial. However, if you were going to be using uh, or making a pretty advanced website with lots of CSS styling, uh, I'd recommend that you create a, sep a second page and just uh, include all your CSS within that. Uh, file. That way it's the, everything in here isn't cluttered. Okay, so now that we uh, have that there, let's refresh and take a look. And if you notice, nothing's different. Um, so let's go ahead and try to style the first div. And in CSS, what you want to do when you're referencing uh, a div by its ID, or any other element for that matter, uh, is you use a hashtag or number sign, uh, pound sign, whatever you want to call it. And then you just write in the uh, ID of the div. So we'll say header. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to include a code block. Um, so we're going to use a set of curly brackets or curly braces, and we'll just come down. So anything that's in here is going to be used to style this header div. So anything af uh, after this and before this is going to be used to affect the header div here. So uh, it's not too difficult to understand, I hope. Uh, just header references header, and now we're just going to change around this div. So let's save that, come over here and take a look, and you'll still notice that nothing's different. So in, uh, in order to change this div, what we're going to be doing uh, so we're going to be creating a background for it. It's going to be a uh, dashed background, a black dashed background with one pixel for its width. So we'll say background. And uh, in CSS, this is how you change oh, border, rather. Don't know why I said background. So border, uh, we'll say one pixel. So for pixel, we just say 1px space uh, dashed. And then we'll say black. And then we put a a colon here that way or a semicolon rather uh, and that's just the way to end it in JavaScript and Java any other programming languages um, in order to end something or terminate a line you just use a semicolon so now uh, that's how we're going to create our border so we'll save this come over here and take a look and you'll notice that we have our border here um, since this goes all the way across we're going to have to change it so what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, margin and we're going to say uh, 0 px for 0 pixels and we're going to say auto, uh, which will automatically align it uh, in the center. So we'll save that and refresh. And you'll still notice that it's the same exact thing. So what we're going to need to do is come back in here, and we're going to say uh, width. And we're going to say 500 pixels. And that's going to make the width of this uh, div right here. It's going to change the width to 500 pixels. Uh, so this div is going to be a little shorter. So we'll save that, come over here and refresh. And now you notice that our div is uh, shorter, a little bit more manageable, and it's 500 pixels. And now you'll notice that the text here is off to the uh, left side, but we can fix that in a second. Um, so let's go over to our other uh, div, and we'll style that up real quick. And then uh, we'll learn how to fix the text that's inside. So um, we're going to have to select the other div by its ID, which is main content. Uh, so in order to do that, we'll just use a hashtag sign or pound sign, and we'll say main content. And then we'll create a code block. And again, anything within the code block here uh, or anything between the two braces or brackets is uh, what we're going to be using to style our div. So again, we're going to create a border, and we're going to say one pixel, and uh, the pixels refer to the width of the border, so uh, the higher the pixel count, the uh, thicker the border is going to get. So we'll say one pixel, and we're going to say solid, uh, and that's just going to make it solid straight through, so no dashed, and green. 
So that's going to set that up for us. So if we come over and refresh, uh, you notice this is our div here. And just like the other one, we want to set the width to 500 pixels to make it a little bit more manageable. So width colon, uh, which basically telling you what the width is, and 500 pixels with a line terminator there. So that's our next div. Now what we want to do is we want to move it over. Uh, so we're going to have to set our margins to be, uh, which, or the space on the side to be zero pixels in auto, which will center it for us. Uh, so we'll say margin zero pixels auto, and we'll add a semicolon, and there we go. And now what we're going to want to do in order to uh, separate them out a little bit is we're going to want to include a uh, a margin on the top of the green one or either on the bottom of the black one. So either one will work. Uh, we can do both if we want, but we're just going to add a margin on the bottom of the uh, uh, this div up here on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to say margin bottom or margin dash bottom uh, colon and we're going to say 50 pixels just to uh, separate that a little bit. So if we come over here and refresh you'll notice that here we go we have a little bit of space it looks a little bit nicer and now uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this div and we're going to make it a little bit uh, taller so we're going to say height we'll change that actually we'll put the height over uh, above the width or under the width rather uh, it doesn't matter where you put it I'm just like I just want to put it so that it looks organized so uh, we'll say height is uh, 100 pixels and we'll save that and come over here and you'll notice that it does change the height to 100 pixels uh, another thing we can do is we can say min height which is going to keep it at a minimum height of 100 pixels uh, and that's basically what I had for the first tutorial so it um, doesn't matter it's up to you um, so now that we have our divs created what we want to do is center the HTML divs uh, header here and center the paragraph here uh, so what we're going to do to do that is we can either come in here within our div and add a center tag here or uh, we can use a property of the um, the div itself or an attribute rather and we can say align equals and then some quotation marks and we can say center so this is going to center whatever text in here or anything else that's in the div uh, it's going to center it so if we say or come over here and save it and we come over here and refresh you'll notice that now our div is centered here and that's just a, a neat little attribute that you can use to center the div uh, I'll show you on the bottom that we can just use the center tags and it really doesn't make a difference. Um, so we come over here and hit center and this will also center it. So it's uh, completely up to you but this is basically how you go about using divs uh, and here's uh, also a little bit of a tutorial on each, uh, CSS I guess. And If uh, you're typing some CSS and you want to be able to see it better you can come over here uh, in Notepad++ and choose your language as CSS and it'll uh, make everything a little bit easier to uh, see. You can see the what you have selected here, what you're doing with it. Uh, it's just a little bit easier if you want to switch between them, but uh, for our purposes we're just going to leave it in HTML. So this is basically a tutorial on divs. It's just a basic tutorial showing what divs are. Uh, if you're a little bit confused we can just go back over here and take a look. Uh, one way you can think of divs is the container. Uh, it just holds something. And uh, if you're styling websites you might want to have a div over here with maybe some links or something, a div over here with some main text, maybe uh, some pictures over here, uh, over here. Uh, it's completely up to you, the web designer, what you want. You can have a footer div, header div, a uh, big body div, whatever you want to do. Um, so it's just fun to play around. And uh, over here I have the W3Schools uh, div tag page up. And this just has a bunch of information about the div, uh, what you can use to, uh, what you can use with the div tag, and how you can use the div tag, some attributes and whatnot. Um, so feel free to check that out. The link is, uh, I'll put it in the description. And uh, that's basically divs. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or you can also use the comment page on technicalcafe.com, uh, the contact page rather. Or you can uh, send me your at reply on Twitter. I'm JamieMCG. And uh, you can also use the Technical Cafe Twitter, which is twitter.com slash technicalcafe. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.